Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Friedman Adventures. It's the morning briefing. You can place your bets right now as to whether my voice will make it through this morning's report. Hey, I'm a little hoarse, but no big deal. I'm super excited because I get to cover all the latest fishing with you all here this morning. And I also get to talk about what was a spectacular, great event that left me feeling really, really blessed. Uh-oh, there it goes. Uh, left me feeling really, really blessed yesterday as we had over 100 people show up for our jig fishing workshop and every single one of them were really great people eager to learn unashamed of saying hey i don't know how to do this i mean we had a mix of different people and you know as i looked at the crowd yesterday it just reminded me how fishing transcends everything ethnicity rich not so rich i mean it's just remarkable old young when you have fishing as a common denominator it just brings everybody together into one cohesive group and that's what we saw yesterday and there's so many people to thank i mean i gotta thank gary kwan from taddy lures who was a great instructor and provided many many lures also sam de la torre and his crew from island fishing tackle in carson california Jeff Yeomans, Danny, and all the 540 Slingers guys. They were fantastic. Captain Eddie Leland, who did such a great job instructing. And I'm, I'm going to leave people out, so I apologize if I have done that. But what a great group. What a great group of people. And I am feeling, as I said, really, really blessed this morning because it was a great day. Now, as you can see, folks were out there learning how to cast talking about how to make your jig swim better and all of those great things and you know I had like Dale came all the way from San Diego and he commented that he learned a lot and now he felt more confident about fishing with the iron and Dale also brought a wheelchair along with him to help us in our efforts south of the border of course we continue to make missions of mercy on your behalf because you're donating all of these great things like Dale and we're able to go down to Mexico to our brothers and sisters in Baja California and other parts of Mexico and give out some goods to some really people who you can use your help and you are so nice so let's talk about who won the casting competition because it was dramatic I mean there were a lot of big guns there big big guns but Ruben Salgado his lovely wife, I got to sit with him at lunch over there at Shoals in Long Beach. Ruben made a cast. He was the first guy. It went 249 feet. What reel is that? No, what kind of reel? Daiwa. Daiwa? Daiwa BGM 25,000. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah, right? How far did he go? Did he go all the way to there? I don't know. He's got the That's he's cast. got the distance, man. Oh, no one's gonna touch you. Not cheating. Nobody's gonna touch you. Hey Sam. There's no rules, right? Between conventional. That's and not spinning. cheating using a spinning reel, is it? No. It's who can throw the farthest. Yeah, dude. Hey, you said it's cheating. Who said it's cheating? So as you can hear there, there was a little bit of controversy about hey is this fair or not fair I mean he was using a spinning reel and at the very beginning of this entire event I had a conversation with Sam De La Torre from Island Fishing Tackle and Sam and I are dedicated to taking the stigma away from fishing with spinning reels I mean don't you want to make the longest cast you possibly can don't you want to get your lure out to where the fish are and if it means using a spinning reel and spinning reels nowadays are just a whole nother animal. I mean, they can put out a whole lot of drag. They are super strong, and it was great to see. So Sam and I decided, along with Jeff and everybody else, that, hey, we want to see your best cast. We're not going to say you have to use 50 pounds. You have to use this rod. You can only throw with this kind of lure. Bring your best game to town. And Ruben did it, man. I mean, he blew everybody away. There were two more casts that were both 225 feet, but Ruben did it he won a twenty dollar gift certificate to Shoals over there uh at Shoals, everybody was privy to a free beverage whether it was a beer or a cup of coffee or a soft drink 
and that was also a great gathering but way to go Ruben and then we had the drawing of course for that beautiful reel yesterday and that was really a dramatic moment a great win for Chris Nakashi Chris Nakashi won that beautiful reel yesterday that Israel de la Cruz donated you can see the reel right there and you know I'm one of the things is that I wanted to get that reel to him right away and guess what Ruben Salgado the guy that won the casting competition volunteered he said he was kind of in the neighborhood where Chris lived so he went out there and delivered the reel I think to Chris's neighbor because Chris is out on the El Dorado today out of Long Beach sport fishing so Chris is going to take a photo and send it and we congratulate him on that great win and of course all those funds that we collected will go to help our missions down there south of the border all right a reminder to you all that this Sunday we'll be on board the Island Spirit you hear that voice man it's just ready to just crack um, this Sunday we'll be on the Island Spirit out of Ventura sport fishing we've got about six spots left 125 bucks as we look at the long range for long range forecast it looks like we may get a weather opportunity in the Channel Islands. I see one on Thursday morning if the weather forecast holds. Saturday looks like a beautiful day. Sunday we're not sure about yet, but we should get a very good peek at that a little bit later today. But it looks like we could have great weather, and that's the only thing holding those guys back. When I get into the fishing update here in just one second, I'll talk about that with you all. So really, really great stuff. Uh, I mentioned Gary Kwan from Taddy Lures. I got to mention my friends Dean and Ross from Accurate Reels who set up a display at our event yesterday. We're so kind and so nice to everybody there. And uh, I really, really appreciate that very, very much. Dean Ross from Accurate, thank you so very much. All right, let's get into the bite now. Talk a little bit about what's going on in San Diego. I thought that bluefin bite would come roaring back but I was not right. It has not come roaring back. It's a little bit hit and miss. Not a little bit. It's hit and miss. And it's not weather related. Weather's fine down there. You know, we had that blow. We had the subsequent drop in water temperature, which is never good for surface bite. And water gets a little dirty and sometimes fish move. And we are certainly experiencing some of that. I keep feeling like any time now we could get slammed by those bluefin tuna and certainly there's been some outstanding catching going on down there brandon kassar is a dedicated freedman adventures guy he's always commenting on youtube he's on our charters he's a great guy and he couldn't be more proud of his grandson henry who was on the new low end recently 15 years old and he had two magnificent fish I think one of those fish was 90, the other one was up over a buck 50. Beautiful fish as you can see, and he is so proud. Brandon, congratulations. And more importantly, Henry, 15 years old man. Hey Henry, just between us, keep this a secret though because I'm supposed to be like a pro. I mean, you get a bigger bluefin than I've ever caught, but shh, okay, just keep that quiet. Good job Henry, what a catch, and that is awesome to see. Nighttime fishing, still pretty darn good. But again, it's been more hit and miss. Those uh, 180 to 300 gram lures are working good, but you can drop it down to 100 gram. Also on the flat falls and the sakanas, knife jigs, and besides 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon, which, you know, these fish are a little touchy. They're hard to get to bite right now. So you definitely want to go to the Opsin fluorocarbon, opsinusa.com. You definitely want to be using that choosing a good hot bait but you've got to have a two-speed reel because a lot of this fish right now is up over 100 pounds some of it over 200 there's a magnificent grade of fish running around down there there's some good kelp patty hits for yellowtail at times but you know sporadics you know it's not consistent not all the boats are getting it i know my friend captain sean hardigan the other day on board the mission bell had a nice hit i think he had over 60 yellows so there's some of that going on but that bluefin is off the bite right now. It's definitely not a weather situation. I don't know if the boys are not on top of it quite yet. I don't know if that fish has just got its nose in the mud, a term we use when they're just not biting. I'm not sure what it is, but I am pretty sure that that's going to get rolling again here very, very soon. All right, taking a look at the Coronado Islands, a few yellows, but not much, you know, some whitefish and rockfish and good calico bass fishing 
if you want to do that. But there's excellent rock fishing nearby. Nothing to ride home about. But hopefully, as we have a really nice weather scenario for the entire week, there's no wind at all. It looks beautiful, and I think we could really get something accomplished in that neck of the woods. We'll keep watching that very, very closely. All right, Clemente, Catalina, uh, Santa Barbara Island. There's a few yellows being taken, some good sign. You know, the Thunderbird the other day had a good shot. The Freedoms had a few yellows here and there. One thing about it is they're nice grade. They're beautiful. I mean, a lot of it's that 23, 25 pound fish, some of it up to 30 pounds, some of it down there in the 18 pound class, but that's nice fish. And it's biting the yo-yo iron really, really well. So, you know, 60 pound, at least 50 pound, you want to fish, sink your jig down, wind on it fast. When you get a bite, just turn the handle. That's how you set the hook. Don't wind the jig to the surface about halfway up, kick it in free spool, back down again. It maximizes your fishing efforts and you can really get a lot accomplished. And yo-yo iron fishing on that grade of fish, that's really special. Really, really spectacular. And as we go along, we've got this nice weather scenario. Hopefully we're going to see that bite also continue to head in the right direction. Pride with a handful of halibut, some yellows, there's some sea bass running around. And I think that's only going to get better as we go along. That lunar eclipse last night was gorgeous. Did you check that out? And with that full moon, of course, I'm going to mention that right here on these beaches, tonight, the little grunion will be moving up on the beaches, and that's always a lot of fun. Observation only. Don't touch those little devils or you could find yourself in some serious trouble. But if you want to take the kids out and show them a spectacle of nature, tonight would be the night as we'll have a grunion run. All right, let's jump you up to the Channel Islands where the Aloha Spirit had nine white sea bass. You know, they've been having trouble finding a good amount of squid up there lately, and that has really caused some problems, but the Ranger 85 snagged a pretty good amount of squid, and the rest of the boys are starting to snag a little bit more squid, and with good weather, they could get back in this sea bass game very, very quickly, and there's been some big, fat sea bass up there, up to nearly 70 pounds. Beautiful grade of fish. The Aloha Spirit, as I mentioned, nine white sea bass yesterday with a halibut that's some pretty good shooting a couple of other guys picked away at the sea bass also copious amounts of rockfish beautiful weather window thursday morning on the forecast forecast however do change we'll be watching that very very closely for you hopefully that forecast will hold and once again island spirit with yours truly and a bunch of other great guys i can't wait to do that one that is going to be a lot of fun we will see you on board this sunday if you want to go i think there's six spots left not sure about the weather yet the long range forecast at least for saturday is beautiful and that means a lot and if it holds on sunday look out cody rogers the captain of the island spirit says we're going to go target white sea bass for a good part in the morning and if they bite everyone's going to be super stoked on that trip if they don't we're going to back it up by trying to catch you a bunch of rockfish so it should be a great trip i'll be on board to shoot your photo 125 bucks if you want to go text me okay shoot me a text and i promise to get back to you 657-227-6459 just send me a text and that will really be fantastic to see you this sunday morning 6 a.m to 5 p.m Ventura sport fishing should be a lot of fun. I briefly mentioned that we're going to have a grunion run. So again, that's a nice big old magnet that draws a lot of fish up here onto the beach. It's a great way to uh, capitalize on some great surf fishing at times. So you can fish during the grunion run. You can catch copious amounts of fish some nights. It's really good because everything's in here from halibut to leopard sharks to big yellowfin croaker. It all moves up in here. I'm going to be fishing the high tide in a couple of hours with a good friend of mine, Paul Burbank, and hopefully we're going to get the job done. I'm going to dig up some sandworms, one of my favorite hobbies, and see if we can't get it done. And I also have frozen grunion from previous runs, and that's not a bad idea because those grunion are out there staging up right now, so those fish are feeding on them. They're used to that. You toss a grunion out there, and you got a very good shot and chance to pull something off some lucky craft halibut biting now remember with the grunion run halibut are going to move in so that is a good way and you're going to match the hatch with a lure like that also chrome crocodiles and cast masters 
work really, really well. The banquet yesterday over at Shoals in Long Beach with Chef Jason, the food was to die for. It was so good. Everybody enjoyed it, but more than that, it was the camaraderie with all the people who attended our jig fishing workshop. Gary Kwan was there, Sam and his whole crew was there, 540 Slingers, and all the wonderful people. Hey, thank you so much again for your great support. And it's not only support for attending that event yesterday, but our numbers on Freedman Adventures are soaring. Now we're starting to push toward 7,000 hours of content consumed by you every single month. And it's just going like this. So I, I get the feeling we're gonna get to 10,000 here pretty soon. Subscribers are going up and I'm, I am I just don't have the words to say thank you to all of you. I really deeply, deeply appreciate it. All right, Ruben Salgado with that long cast, the kids that participated, Dan's kids and everybody else. It was really, really special. So much fun with so many great people. And of course, we are gonna have another jig fishing workshop in the very near future. I know Jeff Yeomans is saying right now, when, let's do it. Well, I'm gonna to talk to Jeff and Sam and everybody else, and we are gonna make it happen really, really soon. Hey, I'm so glad that I'm still talking because I get to turn around and say hello to my friend Valentino, who's a great guy, and I get to talk to him every morning. So hold on, let me do that, and I'll be right back with a final word. Valentino! Como estas? All right, you too, mi hermano. All right, Valentino's the best. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him in a little bit. Maybe catch him some lunch and give him some nice surfish to take home and eat. All right, don't forget, Island Spirit on Sunday. Send me a text, 657-227-6459. I wish you all a wonderful day. And I thank you for being with me here for a few moments on Friedman Adventures. Enjoy another cup of coffee. I'll see you soon, my friend.